Hi, and welcome to the Magical Parenting Podcast. I'm Cristina Tumino, a holistic educator and the founder of the Magical Parenting Method, where I can provide you with a unique recipe to raise happy and fulfilled children. In a previous episode, I talked about uniqueness and how understanding our uniqueness is the cornerstone, is the foundation to live a worthwhile and a meaningful life. And this is why it's so important to nurture our true personalities, our ways of thinking, what makes us unique and understand what is our unique potential. But how do we know who we truly are? Well, we can start by understanding what the four body system is and how does it work. In theory, there are four bodies in every single human being and they work in ways that are all unique. The physical body is the tangible and visible body. It's the container of this magical, mysterious and incredible machine. It is covered in skin, that is our biggest organ, and it represents a structure with its skeleton, muscles, organs and every single living cell contained in it. Generally speaking, the physical body is this incredible, well-coordinated and functioning tangible machine. The emotional body instead has to do with feelings, emotions and relationships. It is an intangible body and yet it has its own weight. The mental body is related to the mind, to thinking, reasoning, creativity, imagination, ideas, memory. This is also an intangible body. And like the other two, it can affect and be affected by each body. In fact, they are all interdependent and interconnected. But at the core of this machine, there is this more ethereal and yet very powerful body, and that is the spiritual body. The spiritual concept here is not related to any religion, but to the inner self, the soul, and how to connect with it. Our soul is like the sun at the center of the solar system, a system that is in constant motion. Plato, the ancient Greek, proposed the soul to be the principle of life and the cause of motion, and more precisely, as a moved and a mover, because it evokes movement by moving itself. A mover that causes change in itself and in the other bodies. And here is where we can work on a deeper level to understand our positive and potential skills, as well as dark forces within that pull us down and prevent us from learning and growing. The four bodies need to be constantly nurtured and healthily developed by following each individual's uniqueness and potential. So when we educate children, we must take into account the wholeness of the child. That means the four bodies. In that sense, the modern education system focuses mainly on the intellectual development and mostly considers things like health, emotions, and matters of the soul as parents' responsibilities. And even if a school operating in a standardized system claims to be working on those aspects when educating children, you just need to go and look closer and see if this is really the case. In future episodes, I will go more into detail on this matter. But what I want to focus now is that we cannot simply be keen and ready to learn if, for instance, our tummies are not full or we didn't sleep well, if we are stressed, worried or in love, if we are full of thoughts, we are not interested in the subject or we don't like the person who's teaching. This is because we are not only made of a mind. The mind is strictly connected with all the other bodies within. Unfortunately, this is how most societies deal with the education of individuals, where school's duty is to educate the mind and partially the physical body with some sports and PE, while parents and the community educate the rest, such as emotions, health, nutrition, social and spiritual aspects, and maybe sometimes self-knowledge. And most parents try their best 
they want to do well. However, many of them have little awareness and knowledge of how to support their children in their wholeness. Many parents indeed educate by following cultural beliefs, mimicking social behaviors, or following friends' and relatives' opinions. They are often reactive rather than proactive and often carry on by trying to manage the consequences of their behaviors and actions. The fact that we are adults doesn't mean that we developed well in all our bodies we did. For instance, a 50 years old person can still struggle to be aware of certain emotions at play and then work on them. This is why becoming aware of the four body system and gaining some guidance can be very helpful when supporting our children in their growth. It can help parents and children themselves to understand how we work on a deeper level and it can help us to build a solid foundation and become stronger physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. In future episodes, I will delve into each of these bodies to understand how they work, when we fail when supporting them, and how we can develop them. If you would like to learn more about how I can guide you and your children in a journey of self-discovery through the four bodies, contact me on info at magicalparenting.co.uk or visit my website. Do let me know your thoughts about this episode. And if you liked it, please share and don't forget to subscribe. I see you soon. Bye.